Has anybody uh, ever asked you about Bacopa or Brahmi? There are actually two versions of Brahmi, two different um, supplements. One is Gotu Cola and the other one is Bacopa. Uh, the video today is going to be on Bacopa. Uh, both of these are used for um, cognition support, ancient uh, Ayurvedic medicine. Do they work now? Well, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, <clears throat> But first, an introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E and this is the Prevention Channel. We're here to help you prevent the major killers and disablers, heart attack, stroke, dementia. Um, <clears throat> so I first heard about uh, Bacopa reading the book by um, Del Bredesen, uh, The End of Alzheimer's. He mentions uh, both Bacopa and Gotukola and uh, recommends them along with uh, ashwagandha and glutathione. Now, um, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, um, Bacopa is one of, the, one of two different ones uh, called Brahmi. Um, there are other names for it as well. Water hyssop and Indian uh, pennywort. Um, as I mentioned, it's been used for hundreds of years in Ayurvedic medicine for the same purposes that uh, Bredesen recommends for it now in terms of decreasing depression and improving cognition. Um, the active ingredients are supposed to be uh, our medicines called bacicides. Um, Bredesen says they're, um, they help with the cholinergic system. However, um, other folks would say they're actually antioxidants that pass the blood-brain barrier. Now, when you start looking up the science behind Bacopa, it's not incredibly strong, um, but it's <clears throat> it's better than you might imagine if you've if you've uh, bumped around in these areas a bit and uh, haven't heard of it until recently, like me. Uh, as you start looking at the science, you'll hear several times about the Portland study, and I'm gonna I just printed this Portland study out, and we'll go over it with you. It's a study that's surprisingly um, rigorous in terms of at least uh, techniques and analysis and it did show some good information. Um, there have probably been maybe three, again three or four uh, all are studies that had fairly small um, uh, study groups. So this one as it says is the effects of uh, uh, standardized Bacopa Monieri extract on um, performance, anxiety, and depression in the elderly, in a double-blind, placebo-controlled, uh, randomized trial. It was done at University of uh, Portland, um, School of Pharmacy, as well as School of Nursing, and the School of um, Complementary Medicine. And it was published in the Journal of Complementary Medicine. I'll put the uh, citation or a link down in the text below. So, <clears throat> um, as you look at this, a couple of questions would be, okay, well, how big was this study? And how, who were the study participants? It was uh, 54 participants, 75 uh, years, uh, or 73 years average age. All of them were 65 years or older. And the uh, standard uh, use time for the uh, Bacopa was 12 weeks. They did some fairly standardized studies. Um, the amount of Bacopa they used was 300 milligrams. <clears throat> here's, a, here's some of the studies they used. The Ray Auditory Visual um, Learning Test. Um, they looked at the Stroop Task Assessment. Stroop is where you're basically, um, they use colors, for example, and they'll say, look at the, um, point out the red, the letters in red. They'll have the red, however, in black ink or yellow ink. So you have a disconnection, a disconnect between the meaning of the word and the actual color. That actually slows you down. And there was a fellow named Stroop that uh, discussed that. Um, <clears throat> some of the, uh, the other information that they had in here, uh, 
they use uh, alcohol extract for whole bacola leaf, um, leaf and stem. <clears throat> and again, they did a pre and post. They did, as I mentioned, a fairly uh, rigorous uh, set of um, analyses around this. Um, here, in terms of study design and participants, they had six volunteers 65 years and older. Uh, living independently, taking no medication other than, but then a large list, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, vitamins, uh, stable, stable doses of thyroid, um, hormonal replacement therapy, antihypertensives, anti-cholesterol drugs, um, and had no complaints of memory, compare, um, memory impairment. Um, the 300 milligrams was a daily dose. And they go on to describe the Stroop effect, talk about primary analysis. Um, <clears throat> here's what they found. There were significant differences. Um, the probability of uh, 0.09, they did some, eh, some of the basic things that you'll see in terms of analysis of variance. Um, uh, I don't think they did any regression analysis. They did... Um, chi-square, um, other standard statistical looks at this. And they, they, here's some of the things that they, uh, they showed. Uh, some changes in terms of um, cognition. The Stroop test, for example, probability of 0.03. Uh, Stroop test uh, reaction time 0.29, so that's not much. Um, effective disorders, they said they did see some improvement, but again, the probability, the p values were not just burning up. Uh, there was no impact on heart rate. Um, there was some, again, some improvement in depression and anxiety. Um, is it overall a good, uh, this was a fairly good study. It should have been much, much bigger to, uh, to give you some good probability values. Um, what are some of the other things they did to, um, to try to tease out subjective effects versus others? Um, <clears throat> Here's one of the things they did see um, in terms of looking at the performance measurements. They said uh, the Bacopa group actually did have some improvement and the, um, the placebo group actually got worse during the, uh, the trial. So again, they interpreted that as providing a lot of strength. Um, <clears throat> they did count pills. They made, and they got a great, um, a, a great participation rate. Uh, of the 84 pills, only on average four were missed over the 12-week period. Um, most They did check to see what people believed, and most people believed they were in the treatment group. Um, they um, There was no difference in the two groups in terms of believing whether they were on it or not. Now, <clears throat> Um, they did go on to say that uh, there were no effects shown in uh, divided attention tasks, the waist digit span task, mood states, blood pressure, body temperature, but a decrease in depression and uh, combined state anxiety scores. Also an improvement in the Stroop task uh, reaction times. Is that strong evidence that it's uh, knock it out of the park kind of improvement? No, I don't think so. But you know what? Uh, there, I don't know of anything that is strong evidence of knock it out of the park improvement for um, cognitive decline. <clears throat> As we've discussed many, many times, um, Bredesen, for example, continues to use the term 39 holes in the roof, saying that there's a, a large chain of effects, a large chain of mechanisms, which uh, many of which you need to start um, plugging up or improving in order to get an overall improvement. 
I think his point is this is just maybe one of the of those many chains. Um, have I used it? Not yet. I did just order some though. I'm going to try and see what it look uh, if I notice any difference. 